Hey guys, uh, I got a hold of my buddy's Beretta PX4 Storm Subcompact again. And I thought I'd just kind of do a, a revisit of it. Um, the last time I had it, it made quite a noticeable rattle. And I don't know if he did anything to help fix it or whatnot, but I don't hear the rattle anymore. I know I got a lot of flack from people saying that it was me putting quarters and shit inside the the magazine, but that's not just not true. So, anyways, I figured I'd do a revisit of this, uh, and and I got an HD camera, so it's gonna be a little bit better looking video. I hope he. Uh, Said he hasn't done anything to it, and I believe him because, not to be mean to my friend, but he's not the kind of guy that would send it out to get it fixed. <laughs> so if you watch this, buddy, I'm sorry, but it's true. Um, this is loaded with just normal, normal range ammo. Um, it is unloaded now. And, kind of get a little close-up of it. It's a nice pistol. Uh, since it doesn't have the rattle in the magazine, I like it even more. So, with that, there is still the one feature on it that I absolutely hate with a passion. And it's this safety here. I don't hate safeties, I just hate this one. I mean, if you look at that thing, that is a sharp safety. I mean, it's it hurts your thumb using it twice in a row. So, it's just a pain in the ass. That's really my only gripe about this. Uh, it used to be that it was front heavy too, but now I realize that when you're shooting, that helps keep it a little more on target, not as snappy. I say like my Glock 27 is kind of snappy. This is noticeably less snappy. And what I mean by that is when you fire how much muzzle flip it is. This one doesn't have near as much as the Glock. I shouldn't say that. it doesn't have near as much. It doesn't have noticeably as much. Because, you know, it all depends on who's handling the firearm. Other than that, I like the sights on it. I love three dot sights. I do like hammer fired um, pistols a little bit better than I like striker fired just because I shoot them better. Uh, I do shoot the Beretta PX4 better than my Glock. Uh, but I cannot get over this shitty safety. I don't know what Beretta was thinking or who they had tested, but. And you might not think that that's a big deal, but it really is when you're racking the slide too because you just have these tiny serrations so when you get your hand on it you kind of pull back on those safeties and they're they're just sharp they just hurt your fingers so if you're thinking about getting the Breda PX4 Storm I, I do recommend it it's a nice pistol it's great for concealed carry uh, I don't have a whole lot whole lot of gripes with it it does have the uh, option for a flashlight or a laser if you want to put one on there it does have a chamber loaded indicator which is very I would say kind of crappy um, even on my Beretta on my Beretta 92 it's got one of these it's supposed to stick out a little bit with a little red paint on it but it's almost unnoticeable especially if you don't clean it because it gets all that debris on it and then you can't even see the red paint. So, not really a big safety feature uh, if you need the safety features. Uh, the safety is also a decocker. And I'll kind of show you how that works. Uh, what you do is you get it to focus, maybe. Maybe. Probably not. Um, but with the hammer back, if I start rolling that safety forward, see how that kind of moves up? It rolls it forward so that when it drops the hammer, it doesn't hit the striker. Uh, or the firing pin, sorry. So, I do like safeties on some guns. I like, on hammer fired guns, I like it because if it's a decocker as well, because then it serves multi, multi functions. So you can, you know, 
drop the hammer on a loaded chamber and not have it go off. Uh, trigger pull on this thing is fantastic. I just, Beretta triggers are just beautiful. You know, clean break even from double action. This is a single action, double action. Which means double action is right now, see how it's, it's a drop or putting the hammer back. Single action is if the hammer's already cocked then it just it lightens up the trigger pull significantly so all in all it's a good pistol it'd be a really good concealed carry it's got a nice low profile to it uh, but the only thing I don't like is that damn safety which also can you know get hooked on your your holster which this is his holster for it and I'm gonna recommend that he gets one with a <laughs> A metal clip on it because if that breaks then you know you're fucked so the other yeah with that safety when you push it into your your holster see how it catches on that now it's still seating all the way but I don't know to me that seems like it would probably rub up there and eventually wear on that and then you know compromise the rest of it when it's down and the safety's di or disengaged you know it fits in there just fine but that's just just a little overview of it. I'll kind of get a little couple close-ups of this if I can. If I can. There's a little bit closer. <laughs>